Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires Let's Play, where we're playing as Carl Franz leading the Empire into glorious victory after glorious victory. Just want to mention right off the bat, folks, really quickly, if you've been enjoying this series so far, if you would like to see it continue on the channel, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving likes and comments down below. As always, they make a huge difference in how I approach content on the channel, and they have a direct influence on what you see more or less of on here. So if you want more Total War Warhammer 3, that's the best way to let me know. Hit that like button, leave a comment. And on the topic of comments, I saw some great feedback in the comment section of the previous episode with regards to a few different things, including episode length, including my approach, how much I talk, all kinds of good stuff. And folks, I say this genuinely, I appreciate that feedback greatly because it really helps me make decisions. Now, I've not changed my mind with regards to our approach so far yet, but I am seeing that maybe there's a better way to balance things rather than looking at the uh, you know minute count of an episode. So I've got some ideas brewing, folks and I think you're going to like the end conclusion I come up with but uh, again and as always I'm still open to thoughts and opinions in the comments and one last thing I want to mention before we kick things off is that if you've been watching these episodes and you realize that hey Party Elite is back at doing Total War Warhammer and uh, I want to be in on that and you, you're not subscribed maybe consider subscribing because Total War's back baby Total War's back all right, with that said, let's get this party started. So the first order of business is actually going to be uh, to look at Uberstrike, yes. which hopefully I'm pronouncing better now because of guidance in the comments, uh, to look at Uberstrike and actually get rid of, well, rather, I should say to look at Altdorf and get rid of its uh, training fields here because Uberstrike actually has training fields of its own. And like I said earlier, we, we you know, it only goes up to tier three, so we don't need two of those and we don't need them in our capital, um, you know, provincial capital for sure. So we'll do that, make a make an empty slot over here. And then next turn, we'll have some more slots to, to build Altdorf up. I mean, our economy could use some help. I'm sure there are some higher tier uh, recruitment buildings as well that we could put down to get the, uh, you know, sort of get that progression started right now. But we'll, we'll talk about that next turn. It is time to hit the end turn button. But just really quickly want to say that we are in fact not going to uh, raise another army at Grunberg as I was contemplating at the end of the previous episode. Uh, though the plan was to raise an army at Grunberg and maybe move them over to Flensburg to try and take it and you know, maybe gain access to Averland through there so we can go chasing after uh, the Vampire Counts. Now, some of you are suggesting that is a bad idea to rush into, and I don't necessarily disagree for sure. But also, apart from that, I just feel like, you know what, these guys are going to come down, they're going to take Flensburg, and I will have raised an army for literally no good reason. So we're going to leave that be as is, and uh, we're going to focus on these secessionists for now. With that said, let's go ahead and hit that end turn button and uh, just see what they do, see how they move. And and I, I wonder where I should go first. Should I hit Helmgard first or should I hit Eilhart first? I think it really depends on what that army does. Initially, I was tempted to hit Eilhart first, but then I realized that, you know, if this army gets into Helmgard, they'll be a bit harder to dislodge. Um, and, and, and maybe I'd be better off taking Helmgard first. Oh, <laughs> Fair enough. They they heard me. They heard me thinking out loud there. They heard me thinking out loud. All right. Well, this makes things a little interesting now, doesn't it? While we have an event coming up. The Electric Counts have started discussions about new decrees that will reduce the amount of power they wield as a group across the whole empire, while also increasing the autonomy of each of their states. It is essentially a step towards political decentralization, with those who oppose the planned decrees even going as far as saying that it may be the beginning of the end of the Great Union of the Empire. Putting your political efforts into preventing the decrees may be the best thing to do for the Empire, but you must be tactful in how you proceed with addressing such a highly charged and important issue. Well, we cannot lobby against these decrees. Unfortunately, we do not have enough prestige, which is gained through battle and holding onto cities and stuff. Uh, I could lobby for the decrees, um, I don't know. I don't know if I like these decrees. It would reduce my imperial authority. Not a fan of that. I think we'll simply avoid the discussion. Abstaining from the discussions will stall progress for the decrees, but you will be fined by the court. I mean, we have money to spend, and uh, I would rather... I mean, this sounds like a horrendous conversation. The beginning of the end of the Great Union? How could they? How could they? We'll avoid these discussions. Absolutely. They're not worth our time because they're, they're useless conversations of something that'll never uh, bear fruit. But with that done, though, let's go ahead and uh, use the rest of our money up a little bit. We've got this spot at Altdorf, and we're actually able to upgrade Uberstrike and uh, Grunberg as well. I could hold off on that because I think we need population of two uh, to get Altdorf leveled up into a town. It'll take five turns. I don't think I have that kind of patience. Let's go ahead and upgrade Uberstrike then 
and uh, get access to, you know, at least the crossbows and the halberds. That's probably not a bad idea. And another slot as well. Plus, Uber Strike is over here, where uh, quite a few of our enemies might uh, flow in from. So I think Uber Strike might also need uh, access to some more uh, uh, defensive uh, buildings sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and invest in that. Still plenty of money left. We could go ahead and, of course, get our clay pit over here to generate some more wealth. We could also take a look at getting the uh, Night Watch to help increase control. So much fighting going on over here and higher control obviously has many benefits including increased growth which i will never you know shirk obviously so i'm feeling comfortable about the night watch because again it goes pretty high up maybe not a bad idea um might live to regret that but i also want to get the stables because uh the sooner i can get to demigriff knights and demigriff knights with halberds the happier i will be that is it's getting kind of expensive but you know we have we have a decent income coming through and as we win more battles and stuff obviously that'll supplement our, our financial situation so i think i'm pretty happy with that and and, and all this isle heart looks like it's actually upgrading so maybe we should leave that be maybe that's another reason to leave it be but we'll hit it before it's done upgrading anyway I, either way, I think this is good. Make some more money. Uh, help with control. Reducing corruption preemptively, I suppose. I don't know if that'll be a problem. And then, uh, yeah, getting Empire Knights. Though we'll need the Blacksmith as well, which is maybe what we'll build at Uber Strike before we, uh, you know, unlock the last slot and put in uh, the defensive buildings over there. All right, fair enough. We have, of course, Call Franz hanging out over here. Do we hit Helmgard? Let's see. They got a stack of 10, and in Axe Bite Pass, they've got a stack of, what is that, 10 as well? 2, 4, 6, 7, what, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14. 14 plus 10 is 24, and they've got their walls and stuff as well, of course. I could, what I could do is, you know what, spend another turn recruiting, and then um, they'll try to recruit more soldiers, but we'll put them under siege, and, and, and we'll assault them, rather, I should say, uh, before they're able to do too much. So let's go ahead and recruit what? What do we recruit is the question. Don't have access to artillery or anything. The issue with waiting for Isleheart is that we don't have the province conquered, and so we can't get any decrees going, or uh, I forget what they're called now. Uh, we'll leave that be for now. Let's go ahead and get some more free company militia. Boy, they are tempting, aren't they? They are fun, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get some more free company militia and some more swords. Just so that we can storm the walls... Um, at uh, Axe Bite Pass easily, you know? Sure, let's do that. Go ahead and end the turn there. Feeling comfy. I do have a fair bit of prestige. I wonder if I couldn't... Proving relations there. I, I want to start getting... Again, like, I, I wouldn't mind focusing on confederations a little bit, right? Like, I wouldn't mind... Uh, using that, like, that, that, that diplomatic angle and really leaning into... Uh, what it means to, to, to play as the Empire and to unite the Empire. I would really like to do that. Um, hmm. Likelihood of success is moderate. Looking for trade deals as well, because then maybe we could get uh, some more money flowing. This doesn't feel very good, or like worthwhile, I should say. Listen, I'm 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 talking here. <laughs> Just keeps on yelling at me. They all do. Oh, see? That keeps it, keeps it short. Thank you. Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Not bad. Not that I have the money to balance this offer. Uh, what if we offer? Nah. All right. You know what? Leave it be. Uh, these aren't going to. These aren't going to go through. Over to non-aggression pacts. Beston. I think not. Ostermark. All the way over here. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Ostermark and Vissenland is down over here, right? Yeah. I was wondering if it's worth because they were amassing a pretty massive army. And it does look like Sterland actually took uh, Flensburg back, so I'm glad I didn't uh, chase after that. Auckland, where are you? Up over here? Sure, let's get a non-aggression pack going, perhaps. Initiate diplomacy. I'm sure we could balance that out. 500 gold. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Just trying to improve relations across the board over here. And then best not... No, you, you don't matter to me. Ustermark. Maybe we wait for these guys, because... Uh, I'm sure they can accumulate more wealth, and I'm sure we can, <laughs> and I'm sure we can uh, get more from them when the time actually comes to get a, a non-aggression pact. But th that's all that taken care of. I'm wondering though. I'm wondering if I don't want to use the uh, electoral machinations to improve our relations further with uh, with Talabicland, because then we might be able to actually confederate them, and because uh, all we need to do is get that to ten, right? With 
Sterland. I wouldn't mind confederating with them either, because then it actually connects to uh, Sylvania. But uh, that might that might take a bit more time and effort. We might have to rely on some events. So okay, fine. You know what, Talavikland? Let's go ahead and improve our relations. We have a fair bit of prestige. Uh, let's do it slowly but surely. Let's not overdo it. So improve relations one step. Good stuff. Improves by plus 40. The electric counts exist inside a political crucible in which friendships between electors and their states can be subtly forged or sundered through clandestine political maneuvering. By engaging in a spot of amicable arbitration, you have improved relations between Reichland and Talavikland. Excellent. Uh, so it'll now creep up towards 103. I cannot remember now the thresholds for prestige, or sorry, for fealty going up, but I want to make sure we collect... Um, prestige and have some in the bank. I'm not just going to spend all this because I believe every next step is going to cost us 120. Uh, so we'll leave it at that for now. Good stuff. And with that done, I believe that is our turn over. Yep. Moving on. Good stuff. Into Helmgard. Again, they're going to try to recruit. I only I can only assume they're going to try and recruit uh, this upcoming turn. Oh, you know, there's something I... There's something they might do that I want to say out loud because I feel like I'll... The universe will be paying attention, and that's exactly what they're going to do. So let's hope they don't do it. But hopefully, if everything works out, we'll have a few more units, and we'll be able to push into Helmgard and uh, and take it on. Might be it'll be a challenging it'll be a challenging fight. It'll be a challenging fight, but uh, I think we'll be fine. I've I've stacked myself against worse odds. We'll be fine. I'm wondering. I think we're going to have. Okay, good, that worked out. My concern was that they were actually going to recruit another lord and have that lord pop up outside and then just intercept us and, and just be, you know, that extra bit of strength that I wouldn't want to face off against. So, yeah, I'm sure we can take this on. Anything to build? Yes, there is. I, I had a feeling the clay pits would be done. Let's go ahead and upgrade you right away. Not that much of an investment. Two turns, slightly more money made. Again, the, fast, the sooner you're making more money, the more money you're making, right? So that's good. Keep this improving maybe when it actually hits... A little bit of a higher uh, higher number. I'll, I'll push it again with some more uh, prestige expense. We do want to fight a battle over here, though. Not a full stack. Not a full stack, but uh, close enough. Don't have access to anything, right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and dive on in. Valiant defeat predicted. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, boy. Got their settlement garrison. They're, they're, they're not going to be waiting for reinforcements or anything. That's quite a few crossbows and archers. That is a little scary, I'm not going to lie. And our folks are going to have to... I mean, we could encircle them. Maybe they'll sally forth. We could encircle them. We can't build any equipment. They obviously can't recruit when I have them encircled. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and encircle them. See if they sally forth. And while we're waiting for that, we could actually recruit another army over here. Uh, get a new lord... Uh, who do we have here? Monster Tracker. Ooh, extra campaign movement range and campaign line of sight. That movement range is, is I find, quite helpful. Confident? Uh, not. I mean, that plus two leadership might go some way. I don't think it's worth all that much. Uh, Fleet-footed, extra speed is not bad. Determined, immune to psychology. Okay, Huntsman General. We got Regal over here. Extra control, leadership aura size, and Noble. I mean, Noble is cool for somebody you, you want to keep uh, at home, right, as a defensive individual. But, um... Let's go with an arch uh, arch lecture over here. The uh, the monster tracker, Nicholas Herman. Sure. Go ahead and recruit you. At least that's his name for now, right? Go ahead and recruit you. Pop you into Uber Strike. Uh, yes. I might want to do global recruitment on him. That's why I popped him in there. Not that we can afford too much, actually. Ooh, yikes. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, 450 times 2 isn't an option. You know what, Altdorf? This is going to have to wait. That's going to have to wait because we're going to go ahead and recruit after we get Root Marcher and Leader of Renown. By the way, really quickly want to mention, we are still chasing after Irrepressible. It was pointed out in the comments that Irrepressible only applies to the Lord. 30% uh, increased casualty replenishment rate for the Lord in the Lord's army, which is kind of a strange way of phrasing it. Could have just said for the Lord as a... Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, however, we're still chasing after Irrepressible because after that, ignoring Lightning Strike because it's not the same as it used to be. Quartermaster and Logistician are rather big, right? Quartermaster gets you up to minus 9% uh, upkeep cost, and Logistician gets you up to plus 6%. It's not huge, but uh, in a pinch, it can really help. At least I found it in the past. So I think we're gonna we're gonna chase that. And then with the uh, with the Arch Lecter, I mean, we gotta we gotta get these, right? We gotta work on these, and, and we'll figure out where we we end up next. But for now, that's all good. And let's go ahead and get ourselves. Okay, the the price reduction helps a bit. 
let's go ahead and get ourselves a couple of free company militia. Can't go wrong with those. Maybe a couple of swordsmen. Only the one. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's get swordsmen instead. Let's do that instead. Let's not bother with the global recruitment. Yeah, let's not bother with the global recruitment. If we really needed to, we could just do that next turn. It would end up being the same. Um, I, I guess we could get one more unit, but we can't afford it, so it's irrelevant, really, in, 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 in some ways. Well, maybe... I don't know if the three extra units will make that much of a difference. Maybe I should just dive in. I want them to sally forth. That's the big variable. If they sally forth, I think it'll work out quite nicely for us. So, fingers crossed. Let's hope, uh, let's hope they take the bait. Let's hope they take the bait. Wouldn't mind taking on a big, uh, big chunky fight, obviously, but uh, want to be careful not to lose this campaign before it even really takes off in earnest, right? The uh, faction count has been slowly dwindling. Wasn't it like 270 something at first? It's 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 definitely taking a beat down, and it'll only get uh, smaller and smaller as time goes on. Oh, look at that! Speak of the devil. Looking pretty good though. Looking pretty good. Hopefully we can continue improving relations. What do we have here? Tide three baits completed. Excellent. Looking good. Looking good. Looking all right. Um, you, my good friend. Do I send you in right now or do we hold off for a little bit longer? These guys are suffering from attrition, slowly but surely. And that goes a longer way than it might feel sometimes. Still a valiant defeat, but they're all suffering from attrition. So let's go ahead and keep them encircled. And let's go ahead and get some more troops in here. I'm thinking, well, why don't we... Ah, oh, it would have been nice to actually get this upgrade in. We've got some... Oh, we, we actually do have access to at least our, like, um, Pistoliers and Empire Knights now. Let's see. Of the week. Pistoliers are just fun. <laughs> Pistoliers are just fun. I don't know about... Uh, we need the Blacksmith for the Empire Knights, actually. But I don't know about the value of adding some Pistoliers to a Siege, right? I don't know if that's the right call. Let's go ahead and do, let's see, uh, get a couple more swords. Get a couple more swords, and let's go ahead and get... Let's get one more sword, let's get a unit of pistoliers, because uh, I gotta think long run, right? Eventually I do want these uh, these armies to do more things than just take on a, a siege battle here and there. So let's go ahead and do that, sure. Uh, we're still hanging tight over here, building upgrades available. We have money for it. Pop you down. That income rate's slowing down a bit. Isleheart's actually going to end up upgraded before we hit it, so it'll have a slightly larger garrison, but it'll also be worth more when we occupy it, I suppose. Now let's take a look at our research over here. I was thinking local militia, uh, seven turns it'll take. Yikes. Well, fair enough. It's the, rec the, the increased recruitment rate and, and reduced recruitment cost is helpful, especially if this is going to be a campaign where I actually, you know, I'll disband troops and, and replace them with, with newer troops. So sure, why don't we go ahead and do that, and we'll eventually go ahead and get uh, grain silos too. Maybe that maybe that's next. We'll see how I feel because state troop standards is also uh, calling to me. Obviously, a lot of good tech in that tech tree. A lot of good tech in that tech tree. A uh, quick look at diplomacy again, just to see if uh, anything else is stirring. Sterling, how do you feel? Take a look at our quick deal options. Paravent, I do not care. Ostermark, all the way up over here. Let's see what, uh, make your offer. the better value. Make no promises to my ascent. Yeah, 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 that's a better value. Lord okay, uh, what about uh, trade agreements? Oh, Sterling is willing. Again, if I could just improve relations, then I can, uh, then I can just confederate them instead, right? So, since we already made the error of the non-aggression pact, let's go ahead and, sure, get those, uh, get the trade deals going. Military peace. access, too? Oh, well, we can maybe do that separately. Uh, let's, let's go for it. A little bit of money. Goods coming. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and propose that offer. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Good stuff. Fan of that. Anybody else wants trade? No one else wants trade. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. And again, hopefully their uh, their fealty will go up slowly but surely. It takes, it takes time for the uh, relations to, to kick in. You can see high relations over here helping with Kemperbad, taking it from 7 to 8. Are we... We're not capped. We'll wait until maybe a battle is done before we spend on improving further over there. Either until a battle is done or until this reaches its cap. Sure, you're recruiting a few more units. A couple more units, I guess. And we're waiting for the attrition to kick in a bit further, right? Yeah. 
Feeling good. Feeling pretty good. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe a little too slow, but uh, there's a couple units right now that we won't have immediate access to if we lose them, right? Because we can't. We can't. There's a couple units that we can't recruit in uh, in, in Carl Francis Army, and I wouldn't want to see them gone so early on in the campaign. So a little bit of patience is going to go a long way, I think. Uh, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Uh, I think we'll maybe attack next turn. The temptation is certainly strong. What is this? Boris, what do you desire? You demand military access. You would pay us 600 gold for it. That seems reasonable to me. I wonder if I couldn't ask them for more. Going with a counter offer. Seems I might be able to 600. If we go up to 900? No. If we go up to maybe 700? No, it's gonna be it's gonna be six hundred, isn't it? Six fifty. Okay. It's only fifty more. We might be able to do six seventy five. I'm not gonna be so particular. Uh, sure, military access sounds good to me. Go ahead and propose that offer. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, will these guys strike out? Nothing yet. Bit of a surprise. I would expect them to either attack or to recruit another army at Eilhart, but I suppose they must not have enough money to do either. And what is this? Under Morsleaf's glare, your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if the shadow of some horned god was watching from the evil moon above. The army is fettered by Morsleaf's glare. So we could improve the omens, improve our leadership, it'll hurt our treasury ever so slightly. I will not risk more sleep's wrath. Improve the omens. An offering to our gods and to the warriors' own purses should improve matters and help them find their boldness. That extra leadership is not bad. Take it. These guys are really just standing there and eating the damage, eh? Fair enough. Fair enough. One more round of recruiting then. Go ahead and get you, and let's go ahead and get some more free company militia. One, la one last round of recruiting. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Because money's starting to get tight. If we keep doing that, money's going to get real tight real soon. Good stuff. Uber Strike is almost done upgrading the settlement itself. We'll have some more room to get some more uh, structures in. And I think that will be just dandy. It'll be great. 256 now. Damn, those, the number's dropping real fast. Blackstone post over here. Just trying to figure out what our next step is going to be after we're done with Helmgard. Like, do we directly go to war with the Bretonians without any hesitation? There's no reason not to. We owe them nothing, right? Uh, war with the other Elector Counts is expensive, uh, as far as, like, fealty and stuff concerned. What do you desire? A non-aggression pact. Didn't we already have one? For 400? I'm sure that could be improved. Hmm. I think we almost got one for 600 previously. And I was like, nah, wait for it. Oh, that's not what I meant to press. 400. How do we feel about that? Okay, 450 perhaps? Alright, 500 then. 550 perhaps. Nickel and dime. Nickel and dime. 575 doesn't work. 550? Oh, what? No, what? What? <laughs> what happened there? Hold on. Just that. Two. 550. Oh, interesting. It just wasn't updating, I guess. All right, how about 450? Leave it at that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna overdo it. Sure. I'll take 450. Uh, go ahead and propose that. There's our non-aggression pact. Good stuff. Still nothing, eh? Well, I believe the secessionists are closer to the end of the uh, the turn cycle, but still nothing. All right, still nothing. It would be kind of funny if we just uh, like drained them, right? It is an option, but not one I'm willing to take right now. Go ahead and uh, dive on in over to here. Get that extra backup. Again, the uh, Pistliers might be a, a bit of a waste. Ooh. Intercepted by the settlement. Of course we are. Our, our larger army would be uh, would be the, 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 the reinforcing one. That was a mistake by me. I, I decided to push past. You know what? Let's go ahead and unfortunately retreat. That was an accident. Not the end of the world, but uh, an accident nonetheless. I want to get close. But I don't want to, uh... That's not the army I want leading the, the fight. Oh, come on. I want to get close. But I don't want uh, that army leading the fight. Can I not, actually? I, I think I, maybe I can't. One last, one last try. They'll arrive exhausted, but one last try over here. 
Yeah, I guess so. All right, fair enough. Uh, if that's how it needs to be, I guess I can wait two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. A close victory is predicted. If we ought to resolve, we'd actually win it. But uh, no, that's not the way to do this. It's a big battle. We wanna we wanna fight it. So to the battlefield we go. Let's do this. All right, this will be interesting. Again, we gotta wait two minutes for our reinforcements to arrive, and they're gonna be all the way back there. It's gonna take them some time to get here. I have some regrets about the decisions we've made here. How far can these guys fire? And I can't, I don't remember if they still fire all the way to the end. And I would be a fool to try and learn um, that now. We could obviously move up over here, try and stay tucked away from the uh, the fire of the, uh, the the fort tower. The concern, of course, being the archers and, and crossbows and all that they have that they could uh, still fire with. That's the uh, one concern, obviously. Go ahead and get you grouped up like so. Get you grouped up like so. We'll have all the gunners and, and, and free company militia uh, grouped up like that. You'll be two. Carl Franz will be one when he arrives. We could send these swords up to... Well, basically die, keep the enemy occupied, more or less die, really. Uh, we could try and get that uh, wall secured, and so when our reinforcements arrive, you know what, actually, let's do this. Pull everybody over to here. Uh, get the three of you a little bit closer, I suppose. Move in, you know, get some shots in and all that. Try and take this tower, because if we can, then as this army approaches, we can kind of focus on this side and push through. We'll see how it goes. I doubt we'll make it that far. I'm sure these guys are... I kind of, I feel like, I, I feel kind of bad. I kind of brought them here to die, didn't I? feels kind of bad. I will say as well, by the way, as I'm uh, kicking this battle off, I'm glad to hear uh, many of y'all enjoyed the little cutaways that we did during the battles of the previous episode. Gonna try and keep that up all the way through, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear more thoughts on that if, if there are any, but I'm glad to see the response I've seen so far has been uh, pretty much all positive, which is always, uh, always, always reassuring. Go ahead and actually move these guys over here. Rush up this way. Yeah. And uh, let's begin. Up we go. Fire away. And again, they're already a little softened up, right? So hopefully this will help. We've got to be careful not to take too much damage ourselves. Move you up over here as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Reinforcements will be arriving again in two minutes' time. So, some time yet. We do have this tower. They've ignored these towers. Of course they have. We should be pretty safe coming up this way. Oh, these guys are in trouble. Pistolers pull back. Oh. I should probably pull all these guys back, really. They're taking a fair bit of damage without doing too much. Morale is dropping as well. All right, pull back, pull back. This tower can obviously cover this entire side. Unless I get really close. Go ahead and push you over to here. Free Company Militia will be a lot slower, obviously, but at least our Pistoliers can go quickly enough. Up to the walls we go with the swords and reinforcements. How much further away are you? Another minute. <laughs> I mean, I saw this coming. I saw this coming. Alright, come on, men. Quickly now. To the walls. To the walls. Batter's up soon. Go ahead and get uh, you up here as well. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Ladders at the walls. Up they go. Up they go. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. And up go the men. Meanwhile, the uh, arch lecture over here as well. Just, what, two, four, five ladders for one man? How are we looking here? Are we up there? They've occupied this tower as well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where are the pistoliers? Down over here. Move you all the way up. Reinforcements are half a minute away. Soldiers are getting up on top of the walls. That's looking good to me. You're engaged over here. Hopefully we'll be okay. Taking some shots from the uh, archers down there. Arch Lecter. Having a bit of a field day, it looks like. Come on. Good stuff, good stuff. Causing a fair bit of damage. Causing a fair bit of hurt. Love it. Right, swordsmen are slowly but surely getting up there. Looks like these guys are ready to uh, get some work done, perhaps. Maybe fire up over here. Where is this tower looking? Move you up over here, please. All right, we okay? Reinforcements have arrived. Carl. And his massive, massive force. Go ahead and shift everybody up. Quickly as possible, straight on. Keep going, keep going. Uh, organization isn't the most important thing right now. Go ahead and make sure the artillery is firing as soon as possible. Go ahead and get you... Yep, grouped up. Get all these gunners coming up as quickly as possible. Let's go now. You're firing up over here. How are we doing? Oh, these guys are not having a good time. Pull back, pull back. I've given up. I've been a little, uh, a little careless with them, I'll be honest. All right. Line up on the walls. Swordsman fighting. Get these guys back over here as well. How is our arc lector doing? Doing all right. Taking some damage. Not having a good time right now. 
holding his own. I would like to pull these guys over, actually, if I could. How's he doing? All right, these guys are charging into each other. Fair enough. Carl, come on, quickly now, quickly now. Move, move, move. How are these swords doing? They're up there. Yeah, looks like we have a bit of a fight going on on the walls in this corner over here. Free company militia, not really sure what to do, I suppose. Go ahead and fire up there. Feeling okay, these pistoliers, they need to pull back. Get out of here. Move you up, these guys are still moving up, slowly but surely. That is a, that is a massive army, but they're not moving as quickly as I would like them to. Swords doing okay. They're being shot at from multiple sides, which is obviously hurting their will to fight. These swords are not having a good time at all. They're probably going to get wiped out, truth be told. And our Arc Lecter as well. I feel like I need to pull them out, you know. Get them out of there. Unfortunately, we're on horseback over here, which is uh, not ideal. Should have gotten rid of the mount for this uh, for this battle, but let's go ahead and smack at those gates, I suppose. Free company militia not having a good time. Can we get you out of here? And we get you out of here. I'd rather you not die. You guys not having a good time? Again, like I said, we're probably sending them to die, but it is what it is. I could have maybe pulled them back and kept them safe and, and alive, but they've died for a good cause over here. They've died for a good cause. Pull you back. Keep pulling you back. Morale is dropping. He's going to get fully surrounded over here. As long as he's able to get out, I wouldn't be too unhappy. Of course he flees. It's not much here for him to stand and fight for. You guys grouped up? get to work. Get all of you moving up as well. Let's go. Get right up there. Send you in over here. Where is our artillery? Still not able to fire at anything. Not able to fire at some stuff. Let's uh, do exactly that. Open fire. Let's go. Guns are shooting now. There we go. Beautiful. Free company militia getting some shots in. Getting a little bit of damage in. It looks like not all that much. I'll take anything I can get. I'll take anything I can get. Wolf. Not the best, but it's okay. Keeping them... You know what? Actually, yeah, not, not, not doing all that much, are we? Keep moving the guns up. Want to be away from the uh, the, the tower's actual uh, like firing range, right? And Carl is in. Carl is in. Let's push in. Got to be careful, of course. He's on horseback now. Got to remember that. Can't just keep throwing him into a bunch of spears. Go ahead and pull back and, and charge in these swords over here, perhaps. Let's go. Let's go quickly now. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. I mean, I'm sure he'll be fine either way. There we go. Into these swords. Charge my good man. Into the swords. Into the swords. Or you can just stand there instead. Like he's picked a fight with an individual. Push in there. Let's go. Swords have arrived. Going up the walls is maybe not the best approach, considering we've got the gates open. But... These guys through. Great swords. Chilling back there. They arrived a little bit later. And get an order through. Carl having a good time over here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Swords are clumping up. Come on now. Come on now. Push quickly now, quickly now. I believe in you. Why can I not... Let's go. Yeah, these guys are... Okay, yeah, this is terrible. Pull up over here. <laughs> Let's just use the gates, I suppose. And where is our artillery firing? Over here. All right, good stuff. Carl, pull you up over here. Try and get rid of some of these uh, crossbows back there. Are we still firing away? Swords are pulling over here. Let's get the guns over here as well. In come the uh, Reichsguard. Got to be careful not to go charging into these spears, obviously. But if we can just... Yeah, look at that. They are pulling away. And we get to the side over here and get a nice clean charge on these archers, perhaps. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In we go. There it is. Relatively clean. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that. Beautiful stuff. Keep our distance from the uh, the spears, of course. Gun's not having a good time. I have let them eat damage. Come on, pull through. These guys up over here, sure. Can't send everybody through the gates, right? Some of these swords, though, for sure. Look at the gates. Carl, let's bring you back over here now. The Reichsguard out of here. Spears have uh, engaged, so we want to get out of this situation for sure. Pull through, pull through. Excellent. Turn around. Hit those crossbows up there. As Carl, meanwhile, comes through over here. Hit the spears. We'll let the swords come through, hopefully. 
Charles in. Strikes guard charging. Yeah, good stuff. Not the strongest of charges, not the strongest of hits, but I will take them. What? Are, no. 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 Don't use the... No, go through the gates, my man. Come on now. Exceedingly frustrating. <laughs> Exceedingly frustrating. Reichsguard, get out of there. We got a few of them still caught up with the, the, the spears over here. Don't like that. Pull you out, pull you out. Carl's doing okay. Men coming through, finally. Looks like some of them are. Some of them are getting caught up by these spears. Fire away. These great swords are up over here. They've decided to use the... Alright, sure. You know what? It's worked out in this case. Reichsguard not having a good time. Get out of there. Do not want to lose them early. They're one of those units that... Uh, or harder to acquire. Let's go ahead and maybe capture some spots. A lot of spears and halberds down over here. Gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, don't get caught in. Gunshots are coming through over here a little bit. Oh, you handgunners over this way. Some of the units are firing away. Getting some work done on these spears. Pull back. Empire Knights over here. For our distance a little bit. I can just break through. Maybe hit these crossbows back over here, actually. Downhill, hit the crossbows and keep clear of the spears and the uh, halberds over there. Yep. Great swords. Arrived. No! Come on, in comes a charge. Oh, come on. Slow down by a bunch of tents. In we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. There it is. That should certainly help. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Do not get caught up in there. There are spears right there. Can we now move these guys in? I think so. Call friends. Doing okay. Taking, taking, taking a bit of a beating. Arch Lecter. Can you win? Where is he gone? Where, well, why is he over there? That's not a spot to retreat to. Artillery fire away. These guys not coming through is a, they're using the ladder is just I don't like it. Obviously, causing us to lose a lot more than we should have lost. Pull over to here. Get these swords back in here as well. Get away from that uh, tower, causing a fair bit of damage to our Reichsguard. We'll be back in this corner. Gotta keep them safe. Hopefully our guns will get some work done in here. At least they're actually pushing through. Carl, in trouble still. Surrounded. Spears on him. They really don't want to use this to help a single individual. Come on, get out of there. Out he comes. There we go. Get out of there. Keep moving, buddy. Keep moving. Alright, good stuff. Hit these crossbows over here. Guns. And I pull you through, perhaps? Will you use the ladder as well? Jesus, I really wish these ladders weren't there. The gates are wide open. The gates are wide open. Swords are coming up over here, though. Where is our arch lecture? I think he died. Didn't catch it. Maybe he retreated, maybe he died. It is what it is. Swords over here holding these guys back. Gotta get away from these spears. Gotta keep the Reich's guard. Alright, let's go ahead and withdraw you, actually. You preserve yourselves. Sigma can only do so much. Guns firing away. At these halberds, perhaps. Come on, push now, push now. Carl's doing alright over here. Could try and get a rear charge over here. How are our great swords doing? They're hanging in there. They're completely swarmed. They have no backup because all of our other units are refusing to walk through these wide open gates. I can't right now. Come on. Alright. Carl, let's do it. Got a rear charge in on some of these units. Hopefully break them. Maybe get this uh, boost in there while he's in there and, and help keep these guys in, right? Artillery fire over there. In we go, in we go, in we go. Come on, are we going to get close enough? Yes, we are. Help out. Pull back. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Got a nudge and get through. And artillery will hopefully get some work done. Get out of there. Yeah, guns are just not doing anything. They're just... Chilling outside. Carl, get out, get out, get out. Ah, he's gonna break. Only temporarily, only temporarily. Artillery fire is coming through. That was a good hit, I think. A couple more shots like that will do the trick. Swords are still climbing the ladder. All right. Trickling in one at a time. One at a time. How are we doing? How are we looking? Reich's got hopefully got away, I think. Our friends will hopefully get uh, re-involved. Artillery... Another couple good hits. Ooh, that wasn't bad. That was good. Come on, come on. Break. Break, you fools. Jesus, just get your own ladders. Just get on the walls at this point. Guys are coming through. 
Doing okay. Those great swords have really held on. These great swords have really held on. Quite a few of the enemy are retreating now. They are starting to break, which is good. Quite promising. Carl is back. All right, here we go, baby. Come on. And Carl back in the game. Took a fair bit of damage. Pretty low on health. You can see the enemy starting to break. Our gunners are starting to go up. Pull you up there. Go ahead and get these guys to break, right? With a nice rear charge. Come on. Give me that artillery fire. A couple of units still quite strong. Not loving it. Here we go. Another volley coming through. Oh, look at that. Pretty pleased with that. In comes a charge from Carl as well. Good hit. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't get caught by those spears behind you. Let's go, let's go. Maybe a rear charge into these spears to break them. A risky charge, but uh, I think a worthwhile one. In we go. Okay, that wasn't, uh, didn't dive in, which in a way works out. Great sword's still okay. Pull away, pull away. Into these archers over here, I think. Artillery, how are we doing? Oh, here we go. That's how we're doing. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not bad, baby. Not bad at all. Oh, looks like their arch, their general of the empire is here. Can I dive in there? No. Let's finish these archers off first. These guys are still. Are you still coming up your uh, your ladders? Okay. Gunners are finally up. Each whip over here. Let's go. These guns fire down there. Let's go. These guns fire down there. Let's go. Hopefully that'll work out. All right. All right. Carl is in. Yeah, keep uh, keep causing the pain up over here. Let's go. Great sword's barely holding in. Artillery's still firing over here. Come on, let's go. Still have a little bit of ammo left. Gotta use it as best as we can. Bring these spears in over here. Carl's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Him and I were on a first name basis. Great. Oh, no, these are swordsmen. Again, using the... <sighs> using the ladders. If we're gonna do that, might as well use more relevant ladders. Let's go. Use this one. Alberts, let's go. Doing well. These guys are starting to break. There's the artillery. Just absolutely gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous stuff. Guns down over here. Firing away. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, my man. Dive down over here next. Let's go. Alright. We, we we've taken significant losses, but like... What are you going to do when... Uh, when you're trying to get through and uh, no one wants to use the doors... Alright, keep firing away, keep firing away. We'll push them back quite hard, this is good. Hopefully none of them turn back around and, and, and join in again. Carl, I'm a little worried about Carl Franz, I'm not gonna lie. Pull over these crossbows again. Artillery still firing away. Trying to hit over here, these guys are moving, it's not the best target. You guys are all pulling back. Oh, you know, I say that, but that was a... That was a sweet hit, and that was a nice follow-up. As was that, oh my god! Good shots, good shots. Now, of course, they do improve over time with uh, with with ranking up. I, I, I do know that. But uh, they were just not performing that great last session, though now they're feeling much, much, much better. Push up over here against these crossbows. Let's go. Now, this is quite the fight. This is quite the fight. Guns, fire away. Stop these swords from coming back. A couple of uh, spearmen over here, actually, that probably need being, like, getting shot at, let's call it. Get you to fire over here. Right, these guys have all given up. Excellent. The towers are causing a fair bit of damage as well. We might lose this unit of handgunners. No, not handgunners. We need handgunners. Handgunners are uh, not a unit we can get very easily right off the bat. That'll hurt if we lose those guys. This guy's still trying to figure out their way up the uh, ladder, it looks like. We're okay over there. Victory is imminent. Firing into the backs of these spears. Great sword is still hanging in there. Right on over here. Fire up over here, let's go. Everybody focused, Carl. Get you out of there. Just need a couple good charges to break these units a couple more times, and they will be completely routed. Get you in here. Let's go. How's our artillery looking? Fire up over here. Let's go. Shots coming through. A couple clean hits will break these guys, I think permanently. Gunners, meanwhile, having a field day against these uh, knights and spears. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I'm a little worried about the uh, handgunners that I think we've lost. That would really be unfortunate. Maybe a, a strike in against this guy. Oh yeah, in comes the artillery, baby. Love it. Love it. Good hit against the uh, General of the Empire. Come on. Come on on top. We gotta be careful about the spears in there as well. Oh man. Pull back, get out of there. Get the uh, swords pushing in. Pushing in, let's go. Carl is out. Alberts, sure, send you in as well. Artillery having 
pretty good time, I would say. They are now out of ammunition, though, so that's them all used up. But you know what? I would say they were used well enough. I think they were used well enough there. Turning around to fire over here. Again, taking a lot of damage for the Free Company Militia. All those towers getting work in, eh? All those towers getting work in. Let's fire up over there, please. Carl, right, let's go up over here, try and break these guys once more, and then maybe they just won't return, right? Make the, uh, like, shadow them, basically, is, is what I'm hoping for. Holding the line over here. If I could just get rid of the general, I think we'll be in a good spot. Break them all, right? A couple gunshots coming through, getting these guys to give up. Love that. These Free Company Militia not having a good time. Send these swords in, let's go. Pull the Free Company Militia away. Quite a few of our, our units have broken or, or taken a, a severe beating. But like I said... You know, it wouldn't be the case if we just had, um... Just to use the gates. Get Carl out of here. He's being focused fired from, like, all these towers, and he's, he's in a rough spot. That extra replenishment wouldn't be so bad right now, would it? Push down against these archers, perhaps? At least get away from those towers up there, and then keep moving. You guys are so close to breaking. This giant mosh pit that we've got. These swords still climbing up the ladders. In comes a charge from Carl. Not too bad. Got these guys to break. Excellent. Go ahead and get the swords. Moving up. Firing away as well. Let's go, let's go. Oh, my man, pull you back, perhaps? Send you in here, maybe uh, reinforce some of these uh, warriors. There's our victory. Oh my goodness, and that was a hard-fought victory, too. That was a hard-fought victory, too. My goodness. If they had just used the, 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 the gates when I'd asked them to, because it was left wide open, they, they could have totally entered... They could have they could have absolutely gone in. I mean, if they insisted on using the walls, sure. Maybe, maybe I should have seen that, and I should have just gone, you know what, let's toss the ladders up elsewhere. But uh, instead I was thinking, what am I supposed to do here? Win, apparently. Because that's exactly what we've done. A Pyrrhic victory, very much so, but at least we've won it. A little bit of replenishment, we should be able to take the entirety of, uh, of this province. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was... That was stressful. That was very stressful. We lost, oh my god, our fans lost over a thousand soldiers. Nicholas Herman lost over, well, almost 500. Let's see what they actually look like when the uh, numbers are, you know, resolved. Because this isn't how they're actually going to end up. Some of these units might be completely dead, though. Some of these units almost certainly are completely dead. Going to be a bit of uh, army management over here. That was a rough fight. You broke the gates for a reason. <laughs> At least the cavalry was able to use it. Imagine. Imagine otherwise. Oh, boy. All right. Whew. My heart rate must be through the roof right now. My heart rate must be through the roof right now. Good stuff. You know what? Oh, are you, are you for real? Oh, my goodness. We didn't lose anybody. I was so sure that at least somebody would have died. We didn't lose anybody. We've got ourselves the armor of fortune. Yeah, I, for, I would say fortune. Jeez, would you look at that? All right, some of these kill counts are through the roof. 251 on the mortars. Again, folks, if you got name suggestions, please put the word name in the uh, in the comment itself, and a timestamp would be extremely helpful. At the timestamp, you literally just have to type in the time. Like, you know, if this battle is around 49 minutes, you would write 49 colon 00, you know, like 49 minutes in your comment, and it would, it would make a timestamp. It's that easy. Uh, and, and let me know what unit you would like to name, and if you want to have a cool backstory for them, oh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I will read them out, and, uh, and, and and we'll get these units named. We've got these swords went over here, 108 kills. The mortars, again, 251. That is wild. The great swords, they were, oh my goodness, they were clutch. They stood there and fought and fought and fought. That was wild. That was wild. I took a few foolish risks, for sure. Sending that army in so close, letting them eat all those shots... I took some risks, but you know what? It, so it, it, it softened them up. It distracted their deployment as well. I think it worked out uh, as well as it could slash needed to. Can I please replenish? Oh, that's just for this army, eh? How about the money? 420. None of these are really all that valuable. I need uh, I need these guys to replenish. All right, take on the captives. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And... Uh, Please tell me I can just push in now. Yeah. Should be able to just nudge on in and occupy. Thank you very much. Oh. Axe Bite Pass has been secured. Beautiful stuff. Let's, uh... I mean... 
not too much to be done here. I would like to replenish a bit more, and I'm just not sure. Well, I would like to recruit and stuff as well, but uh, get some spears. Global, do we want to wait two turns over here? We can get some merging in and some uh, some 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 new recruits in, or do we just rush Isleheart? Isleheart has a bit of a garrison, not not enough to worry us. Not enough to worry us, I don't think. Go ahead and pull you back into a uh, safer territory, and let's go ahead and upgrade uh, Carl. At the very least, leader of renown. Sure, go ahead and get that again, making further recruitment a bit cheaper. If we're going to be stuck here for at least one turn. Let's get okay. Let's get the uh, the spearmen, and I think we'll be here for two turns because we we do need to replenish a bit more. Uh, what are we looking at here? If we merge some of these swordsmen, let's see. If we go ahead and merge you two, oh, it feels so strange. It feels so strange merging them. Go for it. It's not often I do that. Uh, these gunners, oh, I don't want to lose. Again, we don't have access to hand gunners for a while yet, so I don't want to lose them. The uh, free company militia, though, we could merge these two. And we could merge these two as well. Sure. Let's go ahead and get some more Free Company Militia. And let's get another unit of swords as well. And then two turns, hopefully there'll be a decent bit of replenishment, including for uh, for Carl himself. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. These guys can't recruit, but we can level you up. Let's go ahead and get Leader of Renown. Uh, and one more step. Of Leader of Renown, I suppose. That Grand Hammer of Sigmar could have come in handy there. <laughs> could have come in handy there. But no, one more separate leader of renown, because this army still has to recruit basically entirely, right? Commandment available for uh, Ike's Bite, Axe Bite Pass, sorry. Let's go ahead and uh, wish I had State Troop Levy for this turn. I guess, you know, we'll have one more turn of recruiting, right? So that's not too bad. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. State Troop Levy, and that way next turn uh, we'll be able to recruit uh, one more unit, because we'll still be stuck here for one more turn, right? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. That is this turn done. With a sigh of relief, I hit end turn. That was terrifying. That was terrifying. Oh, man. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Next time... I don't know, I guess I was. it was obstinance. I was just like, just... Let me go through the gates. Next time that happens, I'm going to just order them to use ladders on the walls elsewhere. Because it's not like I could use the ladders that were already up either. Anyway, uh, Vlad here wants to end their non-aggression pack with us. Fair enough. Still far enough away that that's not an immediate concern. Oh, man. But yes, lesson, lesson learned. Lesson learned. I thought that would have been fixed from when, uh, well, from February, but, you know. No comment, no comment. Ah, of course there's another army coming, of course. I'm gonna try and recruit. I wonder if we could send Buddy in and, and, and get the job done with him. He's a very small army, they have their garrison and stuff as well. If nothing else, we could encircle Isleheart and draw them out, prevent them from recruiting any troops, and what is this? Are you for real? Oh, man. A great opportunity to improve Sterling's fealty, and we've lost it. Sterlin has come under attack from Norska in the region of Needling and are appealing to you for your military assistance. Will you come to their defense and join them in battle or leave them to fight off their attackers alone? I could do nothing. They will defend alone and will lose some fealty. I could send scouts. They'll still defend alone, but I'll get uh, visibility over the region, costing me prestige. Hire mercenaries if I had enough prestige. I could uh, send a military force if I had enough money. But of course I do not. That is a shame. That is a real shame. That's a good opportunity lost. Do nothing. Let them defend, you know, on their own. They wanted autonomy, right? The electric counts. This is what happens with autonomy. Do nothing. Oh, jeez. I was like, they got destroyed? No, Paravan got destroyed. For a second there, my heart stopped. For a second there. All right, let's go ahead and encircle Isleheart. Keep them from uh, strengthening themselves. And Carl has one more turn of recruitment before he's able to push down and actually get involved. He's got the global recruitment happening already. Let's go ahead and get, um, again, that plus one from the, uh, what's it called? The name escapes me. Uh, it doesn't show up. Anyway, the, 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 the plus one recruitment from that is helping over here because it allows us to get, I mean, sure, it's just spears, but, uh, but I'll take them. It's a bit more strength. I'll take them. Alright, Uberstrike, we could upgrade you, we could get over here, what? 
Ooh, right, the Red Moon Inn. Hmm. Does add walls to the settlement. I was saying we need the Blacksmith to get the Empire Knights. I could instead also skip past the Empire Knights, right? Ah, quite a few of these guys need Blacksmiths and Armories. And if I recall correctly, the Armory is the... Uh, upgraded... Yeah, it is. Alright. Not that we have the money for any of that stuff. So we'll hold off, we'll hold off. This is the downside of having so many uh, soldiers, right? We'll hold off. Building upgrade available, that's just Uber Strike. Yeah, empty slot. Might have to disband some of these troops, or, you know what, merge them even. Go ahead and merge you. Makes us a bit more money, and uh, maybe merge you guys as well. And at the end of the day, we're not actually going to fight with them, right? It's just to encircle to prevent the recruitment from happening. Alright, good stuff. That's this turn done. And one last quick battle to finish off the uh, Secessionist. One last quick battle. Might not even have to fight that one, actually. That one might just be uh, an auto-resolve battle. It depends on if we're losing units or not, of course. And it looks like the faction count is down to 248. <laughs> Keeps dropping real fast. 247! We lost three this uh, this turn rotation. And it looks like there's some moves happening up over here. The uh, vampire is moving in real hard. Oh, there we go. No, no surprise there. Decisive defeat. We are here to retreat. Pull back into safety. Yeah. Good stuff. Not going to come chasing. And again, it's just to prevent them from recruiting. It's almost like we're using strategy in a strategy game. Well, that looks good. Should we... Yeah. We're a full stack. Pretty much all healed up. We are able to get one more step of something. Uh, sure. Let's let's finish the job over here, right? Get that leader of renown. Then we can get irrepressible and, and move further down that way. Isleheart is within reach. Uh, let's push force. Seize your secession, you foolish... Foolish rebels. In we go. Close victory is predicted. Can we auto-resolve this? We can. Yeah. This is going to be an easy fight. I don't think we have to fight it. I'm going to auto-resolve this one to bring an end to uh, the secessionists. Okay. I was worried that was going to be treated a lot worse. And you know, it was. It was. We caught. We, we could have done better. We could have done better. Of course, we could have done better. Either way, we got the war banner over here. We got ourselves a bunch of XP and a decent bit of money as well. And of course, another province as well. Kurt Wagner is dead, Eilhart is ours, and uh, the province has been secured. Reichland is once more united, and the Empire Secessionists have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. With that done, folks, there is a lot of management left to do. Money is looking a little tight. Well, money's looking okay, but predicted income is looking a little tight. So we might want to reconsider having the second army running around right now. As the uh, the gates have opened up, we can actually push down over here. Maybe eliminate uh, Beston. Maybe at least you know maybe take him on. Uh, consider the, uh, the the war against uh, Broken Axe Greenskins while we continue to improve relations back at home. I mean, Talabicland has that fealty of eight. We can push it further as we improve relations a bit further as well. A missed opportunity with Sterland, and in fact a worsened situation with Sterland. Hopefully we'll have a chance to uh, to improve these relations, so that is really quite unfortunate, but uh, I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll come out on top over here. I'm sure we will. Folks, this is where we're calling it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. Ended up being an hour long after all, uh, because I wanted, like, I was thinking a story beat. Let's destroy the Empire Secessionists, see how long that takes. And the battle at Helmgard took a very, very long time. A little messy, I'll be honest. A little messy, but we pulled it off. We won uh, without losing a single unit, which, uh, look, that feels real good. We're going to have to re-assess sort of assess this army, maybe group up some of these spears, replace them with some better units, group up some of these swords as well, and... and when I say group up, I mean merge, of course. Replace them with some better uh, better units, especially the spears. I feel like there are some uh, much higher quality troops that I wouldn't mind. Well, I say much higher. There are some more interesting troops that we could bring in to add some variety and some versatility to our tools uh, in Karl Franz's army. But that is all for next time, folks. I hope you had a good time. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below if you have any thoughts or opinions. Uh, leave your comments down below as well. I mean, again, hit the like button for that massive battle, if for nothing else. I would love to hear your thoughts again on uh, how you, know, you felt about the length of today's episode. It's an hour long, but the concept, I guess. And uh, the little cutaway shots and things like that as well. I'm always, always curious. But folks, this is where we're calling it. Uh, don't forget... 
A new episode will be out tomorrow at around the same time as today's episode. We're doing these daily until I can show off the upcoming DLC. And don't forget, of course, on that note, to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber because there's going to be plenty of Total War on this channel moving forward. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.